I've gone to every home football game while I've been president and a certain number of away games. And I see you, you up it there. used to be, I, yeah. <laughs> I like that tie, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> and now you've clean knocked out of my head the question I was going to ask you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. One thing about you is anybody who's been in the locker room with you knows that with you, football is about football. Losing is not the same as winning. But that also football is about, is a way of getting at something that's more than football. And you know there are schools in America where the point of football is to prepare you to play more football or else it didn't prepare you for anything <laughs> else at all. And you know that that's not what we put on offer for our players and that's not what you have in mind for them. Tell me a little, I, I'm just interested, you know, I, it's, a, it's a corny question, but I think it's the most profound one I can ask you. You know that football is your way of building character, of, of building the things people most deeply need to take forward in their life. Talk a little about that you know it's um I've, I've always believed in it because it is really there's so many great sports but this is the ultimate team spartan sport it's not easy to practice it's the closest thing you would come to being in the military um, but not obviously be in the military so it requires a lot of discipline teamwork um, a lot of unselfishness football is a sport that if you teach winning true winning, not cheating, winning, then you're teaching all of the proper values you should teach young people. Um, I don't want them to accept losing because in doing that, you're, you're accepting mediocrity in some areas of your life. Um, it is about work ethic. It is about preparation. It is about teamwork. It is about commitment. It is about overcoming adversity over and over again. Uh, you get whipped a lot on the football field. I love the fact that we got a 40 second play clock and I want you all to look at that clock sometime and watch football from this perspective. Before 40 seconds is up, that ball is going to be snapped. And I tell each one of them, you got a decision. You can either get your butt off the field or you can go out there and you can compete regardless of what you think is getting ready to happen. It doesn't always fall your way. And one of the things that I love about football, you get knocked down a lot. And I, when I was young, people used to tell me all the time, you know, man, you got to get back up. Well, I watched everybody got up. And uh, if you've <laughs> ever cooked and touched the eye of a stove, uh, it's pretty hot. And so you don't take time getting your hand off the eye of a stove. And so our thing became treat the ground like a hot stove. I've never seen anybody win a football <laughs> game laying on the ground. So that ought to prepare you for life, don't you think? I think that's a very good, very Treat fine lesson. Treat the ground lesson. like a hot stove, and that gets it done. I think that's a very, very fine lesson.